Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a test pilot. This is an original from Don the Beachcomber and it was featured in his Beach Bum Berries Remix Cocktail Book back in 1941, I believe. I'll leave a link to the book in the description below. Uh, it's a tiki cocktail. Tiki cocktail, there's gonna be lots of rum, citrus, falernum. Um, as you can see, there's a big lineup of ingredients. I've made one or two substitutions, but I'll let you know as I go through the recipe. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm quite intrigued and excited to, to get on board and start making a whole bunch of tiki cocktails. Uh, this particular recipe, the test pilot, did inspire many other variations as well. The ace pilot, space pilot, um, jet pilot, the astronaut. Uh, I may feature those on the channel. I haven't actually looked into those other ones as yet. Uh, except for the jet pilot, I believe, has the addition of cinnamon syrup, which would be a really good addition. If I had it in the fridge, I'd probably give it a go. Uh, it does call for blending as well, um, but only blitzing it for about five seconds, just enough to crush the ice. So I'm just shaking it with crushed ice, which you could do the same, or you can blend it if you like. So it calls for 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of dark Jamaican rum. I've got Karuba on the shelf, otherwise I think Myers would be a good option. And it does call for a Puerto Rican rum, white rum. I know this isn't Puerto Rican. 22.5 uh, mil, three quarter ounce. And I've also opened up the buy the back bar feature if anyone wants to buy a bottle to feature on the show. Thanks to John G for one of the latest purchases for the bottle of the Quantro. Um, Good choice, by the way, because it's probably going to be used in a lot of videos. So 15 mil, half an ounce. Otherwise, you can use a triple sec, an alternative triple sec. And then 15 mil, half an ounce of falernum. Really popular syrup that's used in many tiki cocktails. Then 15 mil, half an ounce of fresh lime juice. One to two dashes of Angostura bitters. I'll go two. And the original recipe calls for six drops of Perno. So Perno and Ricard Pastis, I think that's how you pronounce it, are both uh, aniseed liqueurs. Um, they're quite potent. The Ricard is not as strong as the, the Perno. Um, so I'm gonna make, let's give this a go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, given that I'm using the Ricard instead of the Perno, um, so the, the Perno was actually modeled on the absinthe recipe uh, without the addition of the, the wormwood. Uh, so I've got absinthe in my bottle. I'm gonna spray that to line the glass as well. Um, just to try and give it that extra little bit of a boost, given that Ricard isn't as strong as Perno. Now, I want to crush some ice. I'm going to use a mallet and a Lewis bag. And you need roughly one cup of ice. I've also had some ice sitting in my tiki glass, just to chill it down. And I'll give it that absinthe spray. Just line the inside of the glass and then dump the entire contents straight in and then top it up. I don't think I'm gonna have enough crushed ice actually. Thank you. 
And then for garnish, I'm going to add a sprig of mint. A lime wheel. And a maraschino cherry. And I'm going to serve that with a reusable glass straw. This is thanks to the team from Surfside. Surf, 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 this is thanks to the team from Surfside Sips. Uh, I believe they're based in California, uh, and he makes tiki straws, uh, all these really unique designs, and they're made from borosilicate glass. Uh, so they're super strong. Um, the first thing you're obviously thinking if you're going to use a glass straw is, is it going to break? But these things are super strong. I'll leave a clip right here to display how strong they actually are. Um, but also, I've got a coupon code for you guys to use if you would like to purchase some um, glass straws using STB20. And I'll leave a link to that and the name in the description below. They have a test pilot. Cheers. That's a typical tiki cocktail. Lots of rum, citrus, you get those spices from the falernum and that underlying aniseed taste, which I usually don't like aniseed, but in a tiki cocktail, it's completely different when you've got all these complementary flavors. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. And I also had some ice sticking. I also said, I also said, ah. <laughs> I also had. I also had. <laughs> oh my god! You got this. Come on. I also had some ice sitting in my tiki mug.